said the F word and we had to eat them. <laughs> We have to be protect the children. Yeah, you really have to protect them. And a lot of the stuff is at your, at your workplaces, at your Christmas parties. A lot of these rules at your is because of lawsuits. Some lady got a yeah, some lady got a hot cup of coffee spilled it on her crotch, sued and won. Now we have cold coffee with a warning label. And some of you. In this room or another part of the problem, <laughs> occupational health and safety. You're preventing stupid people from dying on a job where they should have. Remember the good old days we sent stupid people to the rigs up north and they never came back. And we didn't have to lock our trucks in the farm, did we? No, we just, it was, now we have to look after them all. Oh, yeah. And occupational health and safety is in all of your lives. Here's one, seat belts and shopping carts. Because your kid could fall out soon. If your kid falls out of a shopping cart, I don't want their genetic information passed on. <laughs> Wasn't that the best part of shopping with your mom was hanging from the outside of the cart? And when you went down the aisle with cereal, you went, I want cocoa puffs, I want cocoa puffs. And your mom said, no, yes. And you shut up, didn't you? You remember the time you didn't shut up. She left the buggy full of groceries right there, bare bum spanked you through dairy, put you in the car with the dog at 35 degrees. And police didn't break windows in those days. They just walked by with that little fucker deserves it. <laughs> now I didn't swear there. This is corporate clean Christmas parties. I, did, I just quoted the police officer. Because the police officer went to the car beside and saw kids eating old Dutch potato chips and drinking orange pop, orange crush, and going, those are good parents, they're in the bar. <laughs> Many of you are raised that way. <laughs> you guys back there are going, I don't understand that. Because that's why you guys are sitting there going, looking at me, going, oh my gosh, I should watch the Hallmark Channel. <laughs> You're looking at me going, oh, Netflix and chill. <laughs> we, we didn't have Netflix and chill. We had drive in and. <laughs> <you know. laughs> You could die having sex. <laughs> Safe sex with us is a towel in the back seat of your dad's Chevy. <laughs> That's the line. Okay, I'm moving back here. That's, oh, I'm sorry. I just, you know, it's got kind of, yeah, it's, it all, you know, And you guys have probably fundraised for about three different playgrounds in your communities and where your kids go to school and everything. Um, and uh, because. You, Occupational health and safety comes in and it cancels them because they're too dangerous. Remember the playground some of us grew up with? Yeah, we, like we were in a crib with lead paint chewing on it. <laughs> Left the lead paint, went to the playground, had big tractor tires, we had uh, you know maypoles made out of creosote, and you know, and, and yeah, we didn't have cement. We just, rock hard because I played outside that that was too dangerous so we had to fundraise a hundred and seventy thousand dollars to get a playground and we had to build it ourselves the guy that was sold it just said drill a hole here put it and then last week occupational health and safety came in and closed it down because it was too dangerous they found holes in it this big that a kid could put their wheelie in I say drill ten more Here's the rules for a playground. You cannot have monkey bars made out of metal because a kid could stick their tongue on it at minus 20 and get it stuck. Yeah, that's part of being Canadian. And I said minus 20 because in my day they locked the door at recess. It was minus 50. We came in with snotsicles and we were happy. And who did we make lick the monkey bars? 
The kid that colored while we had math. <laughs> Don't point. Remember he misbehaved and we all lost the first recess? We told the teacher, don't keep us all in, just keep him in. So we lost the recess. So at noon, I told him it tastes like black licorice. <laughs> <laughs> the bell rang, we all went in. Teacher says, where is he? And I go, I don't know, I think he went home for lunch. <laughs> and we had a good afternoon. <laughs> we learned stuff. And he was stuck there, and he looked at how it was made, and he became a welder. <laughs> Can't have a metal slide. Remember the metal slide? You were the fastest in the last recess. You had your short pants on. You went to that metal slide that was sitting in the hot prairie sun. <laughs> Remember the smart kid in class peed on it and cooled it off? <laughs> and he didn't slide very well? It was <laughs> See, everybody at Ood went down one and went, that's pissed. <laughs> and what did that kid become? He became the occupational health and safety person. <laughs> can't have a teeter-totter. You can't have a teeter-totter. I didn't call it a teeter-totter growing up. I called it sacrifriend. <laughs> you put your buddy on the other side.